well, and he yeah, knows your we'll actions. Yeah. Okay? And so this is why he's the perfect judge. Okay? Yeah. Now, what I'm saying to you is that when you go to Allah, when you go to the uh, when you go to the Quran, yeah, you find a God who simply says, you know what, hey listen, you committed one to A, B, and C, okay? But you know what? It doesn't matter how evil, how wicked or evil these things are, okay? I'm simply gonna just turn a blind eye to it because you. Where did you get that from? Let me let me Where explain. Where did you get that from? Because you're, you get see, that from? you're saying no, that no, no. you will say you ask for forgiveness and he will simply and he will forgive you. That's what you're saying. Not, okay? not necessarily. So you, the so, forgiveness so, has to be sincere. Your actions. Toba. It's called Toba. It's called Toba. Repent. You repent to God from so, your heart. Exactly. And God knows and you what's can't in go your back heart. And do the same thing. God knows what's in your heart. And also, everything that you do, following that, that tawbah or that repenting, has to be good. Okay? You have to be really true to your words. You can't just say, yeah, I repent, I'm never going to do it again. And then the next day go back and do the same thing. What's your name, bro? What's your name? My name's Adnan. Adnan. My name's God. Nice to meet you, bro. Shaheb. Shaheb. What I'm asking, Adnan, is um, I want you to understand what I'm trying to say. I, I get what you're saying. No, no, this is what I'm saying to you. Is that we can kind of redefine justice and um, the judicial system no, and we, we just bubble, bubble, just let me finish here. Yeah. You can try and redefine it, but justice is universal. Justice is unchanging. Who is it carried out? Hold on one second, one second. Justice, okay, I, you, you, you can't redefine justice. So, you can. so, so hold on, hold on, one second. No, no, you can't. It's very biased. Justice, justice. Hold on, hold on, justice. Brother, brother, one at a time, one at a time. It's biased. Time. Justice is justice. biased if you really think about it. No. It is biased. No. It's no. defined by, what, my friend. It's defined by, by what we live on a day to day. It's defined by society. We have a book of reference it's defined by. How would you define justice? How would you define justice? You, you tell me how you define justice. No, because you keep saying what's defined because by. Society can actually change justice to a certain fit, to, yeah. to a certain extent. Because what justice is now may not have been justice what, at, what was like 100 years Island. ago or 200 years ago. Would you agree with me? Would you agree with me that justice is getting what one deserves? It depends who. It depends on who is carrying out that justice. It's a simple moral... definition. My definition, because you haven't given, I've asked you about three times. Yeah. What is justice? And you're kind of going like to different places, but you're not actually giving me a what defined. What is justice in your? In hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. So I've asked you what justice is, and you won't give me a clear definition. What is justice? In so your, in I've just given you a definition. Opinion. Justice is one receiving what they deserve. So, for example, if I am a judge, okay, and the Lord and the land. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm no, going to interfere. No, no, just no, one second. No, no, I'm going to ask you a question. On. We're not going to get nowhere for you to right, Let on, me finish and then yeah. So, how justice is carried out is you look at the law. What does the law state? Yeah. And what does the crime deserve? Yeah. And then you draw a parallel. So, if for example you, you shoplift, then they may give you a fine yeah. or they may give you some, some, you know, you might do, I don't know, it depends how many times you've done it. They may give you a couple of days in prison. I don't know. But you have to first look at the law and then you have to draw strands with the actual crime, okay? So, how we as Christians, we don't change that definition. We also look at what God says and we draw it with His law. We look at the law of God and we see, you do change and we the, see the, we see the crime and we see if the, cr the crime... The There's only one Quran. Brother, 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 brother. Yeah. We're having a nice conversation. Constant, Can you stop heckling? Can you stop heckling? I'm not heckling. You are heckling. I'm trying to get my point across. No, well you, you have to wait huh? and be reasonable. No, you have to wait sometimes too. Okay. You have to wait sometimes too. So what, I'm trying to, so I'm trying what you have to understand is, you've got to look at the law. What does God say about this or that and the other? What does He say about adultery? What does He say about lying? What does He say about so and so forth? Yeah? When you look at the, the, cry, the punishment for the crime. Now, if, for example, God says that thou shalt not murder, okay? Otherwise, the, um, the punishment for that murder is death, then if he's just, he would give you what you deserve for that murder. He wouldn't say, well, you know what, hey, you know, because you're such a nice guy and you know, you help old ladies across the road and you give to charity and you do all these good deeds, I'm just going to give it, he's going to, because he's just, he looks at his law, he looks at what you've done and as a just judge, the perfectly just judge, he gives you what you deserve. If you ask any judge in a, in, a, in a nation, in any nation, which we know, for example, let's take America, we know that they Are you have... Gonna allow me time to I speak? Will, you, so, you, you, you take time to speak, I'm, yeah. to I'm just trying to give you... Because you, you keep going, 
So, let's, so, so you have different nations, okay? Because we're talking about justice. Certain nations, they'll give you the, the death penalty, okay? If you carry out certain murders, like in America. However, if you're in the UK, they won't carry out, they won't yeah. um, allow you to go How is that through just? the different, right. So, the point I'm making is that not just. what every judge does is he looks at the law. So in this country, it will be different from in America. In America, it will be different from China. In China, it may be different from whatever. But what he must do is look at what the law states. And then draw strands, draw a parallel to what the crime is, and then carry it out. Now what you're saying is that Allah, over and over again in the Quran, he says, Allah does not love the adultery. adultery. Allah does not love the sinner. And it's not doing Allah, Hold on, hold on. Now we hold on. It speaks we about Allah the whole does not love what hey, what, the, 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 the I'm talking about Bible. Where did you get it from? Allah fishes kill what babies. Does not love about all so, fishes kill babies. Kill Allah kill women. Does not kill love women. Kill trees. Kill animals. How about that? Hold on. Give me the context of what you're saying. No, you don't Give me the context. So You don't know what you're saying then. You get it. This is going from one side. This part. This part. This part. This part. This part. This part. You say to us, context, brother, well, context. Then. You're waffling. You're Allah waffling. says all of There's no things, context. You're waffling. But yet, He will not give you the relevant punishment. Although Bro, He says, let me context. come back to you. Let although me come back He to says, you. this is the punishment for the crime. I heard you. Now, this is a God that's not just. Okay. Therefore, He cannot be God. Okay. Oh, no. Allah is not God. Okay, that's no problem. Okay. Now, my comeback is, you're saying that. Uh, America is allowed to have a... Brother, did anyone even witness the death of, Brother, of Jesus? Did everyone Stop witness the death of Jesus? Stop heckling. Let you, let you, let you, Out of all the books, respect no one witnessed it. Yeah, that's a valid point, but let me Yeah, yeah, no one witnessed it. Focus on the right. Stop your name. What is it? King James Heck Version? What's your name? Yes. Right. Go on, go on. King James and so the Bible came saying, from the Middle East. From what I have understood is you're saying that different countries can have their own... King James. Yeah? You misunderstand what I said. They're ready from there. Different countries can have their own law and people are tried according to the justice system that's in that country, is that correct? But what you're saying is they draw it from different uh, laws uh, of, of, of God, according right? To the according to the country. According to the country. Okay. Whatever okay. law it is, then the judge looks at the law then and it says, not... well, this is what you deserve according to our law. Okay. Do you understand that? Then, okay. then in, that, in that situation, people are having different justice systems and it is not just anyway, right? What we believe as Muslims is that there's only one God, Allah, and He has one law. It's not many laws. It's not like that person has its own law and that person has its own law. Because I can I can commit rape somewhere else that it's not it's not a problem and, and I can get away with it, right? Because it's all subjective. It's kind of, each country has its own law. What we're saying is there's only one law and it's Allah's law. If he tells you not to do this and not to do that, then you can't do it. And he will judge you according to Whatever. And he also. Whatever. No. Who will he judge you according to his law? That's the question. That's his law. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Thank you. That's it. He will yeah. judge you yeah. according to his law. We his agree on that. Like yeah. like so, now, what, what I'm saying, yes. let me finish, please. What I'm saying is, because he's so perfect, right? Because he is so perfect and he's above everybody else, yeah? Whatever he decides to do based on, we say that, you know, he, he, he judges you based on what's in your heart. If you, if you do, if you repent and all of that. He said that you don't believe it, he said that he doesn't judge you. Based on your heart. So if you repent, if you ask for forgiveness and you say, I want to repent, I've done all these many things, but I'm going to be a good person and I'm going to carry, carry out everything according to your guidelines, my, my law, my, go, my God, my, my law and all of that, then it's up to him to judge you. We cannot say that that's it, you're going to heaven. Nobody knows, right? I don't know I'm going to heaven. He doesn't know he's going to heaven. Nobody knows. Speak for yourself. Yeah. Nobody knows. Well, in, in, my opinion, in, in my opinion, opinion yeah. in my opinion, in my opinion, I can tell you, I don't know if you're going to heaven or not. You can speak. say, I could, I could you could yeah. say that, yeah. But I, I said, anyway, Randolph, what was your point? I said, it's in, it's in my opinion. My point is, we have one God and he knows what justice is. And his justice is universal, right? Universal. Okay. Not not justice according Bro. to that book or that book or that book because they keep changing, my friend. Okay. Okay. They keep changing. Okay. All right. They so, call someone the son so of God. No one saw him. Now, die. I'm going to respond. No, Let's die. go back to the cross. main point. Did anyone see him die on the cross? I want to go back to the main point. You know what was the response? I've responded to what you said. You said what you had to say. Now let's go back to the main point. We're having a discussion. The main point was that why do we need Jesus' blood? Let's continue. Why do we need Jesus' blood? So this is why do we need Jesus' blood? This is very key. Why do we need? Let him finish then. He let you finish. You were talking for time. Let him finish. Let him finish, bro. So, that's all I like to The key 
Um, the question is this, as we spoke about, yep. is, is God just or not? Because it all relates back to what we spoke about earlier, which is sacrifice. And if we've sinned and we deserve a punishment for our sin, yep. is God rightly just to give us a punishment for that? Or can he simply say, well, you know what, you've asked forgive forgiveness and so I'll let this one go. Okay? He and that's the question. That. Brother, brother, let me just finish my point. You're making you claims. Right. You're making now, claims. Now, according to when the you Quran, make a claim, I have to get back to, the to Quran, it. <laughs> according to the Quran, according to the Quran, the, what, is the, what is the punishment for the adulterer? What's the punishment according to Sharia? Are you, are you aware of this? Yeah, of course I am. Okay, so what's the punishment for, say, an adulterer? We're just giving an example. Apart, what's the punishment for the adulterer or adulterer? Is it 40 jelda? Yeah. Is it 40 like jelda? What's the punishment? What? 40 jelda, so you, you get um, um, you get whipped or slashed by... I think it's... But where does that come from? Exactly. Does it say in the Quran, 40 jelda? Oh, no, 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 no. There's a difference if you are married or you are not married. Okay. I'm, I'm not... I'm yeah, not yeah, there's a difference. Point, let me just get... Let me just get... I'm not sure if it says in the Quran, which is our main book of reference. Let me just get... Let me just get... So, let's say like Surah... 5. Let's look at Surah 5. I just want to read something real quickly. Ah, now this. That's not Surah 5. Okay. Adultery is not sort of. No, no, it's not. It's not. But I'm gonna give him adultery is by stone, isn't it? The, 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 the punishment is stone, isn't it? Right? If so, you wanna, if you wanna uh, about adultery, I, uh, you have to go surah to Nur. I don't know, I don't know which number is that, but the surah to Nur. That is completely right, okay. beginning. So let me give you because uh, you're gonna have to go into the hadith. Right. So let me, let me give you. I what can read Arabic. So just show it to me. Okay. And I'll, I'll read. So. So this is not so much about adultery because adultery is an in the hadith, okay? Okay. But let me read you this. Okay. Um, so Which five, is it in uh, Muslim or Bukhari? Um, I can't remember at the moment. But okay. I want to read you this. Um, so so it's worthless. That, that claim <laughs> or that evidence. Well, yeah, well, okay, wait, do you not? Do you he not said, know? Uh, he okay. said the adultery is not in the Quran, it's lying. Adultery is Surah to Nur. Okay, At the I beginning, you can read that to uh, the company. Okay, so what? So, 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 so the question yeah, is... Hold on, hold on. Bring, hold on, bring hold on. this back. So the question, you can't read Arabic. Okay, is the, question, the question is this. What is the punishment for adultery? That's what I'm saying. Bring so what is it? What is it? What is it? Bring Surah to I'm Nur. I'm asking you, what is it? Bring Surah to Nur. Know. Listen, listen. Know. there's he a different. There's a different if you are married. I'm asking you. You're the Muslims. Do you know? I said that it's stolen. Do you know? Is That's what I'm saying. I'm not back judging it up. people here. Back wow. it up. And back it up. Back back with, what, with two witnesses. Then. Hold on, one minute. One minute. Because you're all saying this is the problem about speaking to three Muslims. Bring this. Let me stick with you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then we'll continue on. Yeah? Now, I understood it. Now, he, he can correct me on this because I'm not sure about if it's in yeah. the Quran or not. I thought it was in the Hadith. Okay. But he's saying it's in Surah, surah 2. Surah no. no. Wait, that's fine. That's fine. So it could be in the Quran about, as well. But it's also, you can also find it in So my question is this, what is the punishment, okay? Is it 24, so, chapter 24. All right, we'll get to that in a minute, we'll get to that. I want to make my print, right? So I'm going to look, look up, I'm going to speak about something else. Surah 533, okay? This is not adultery, this is something else, right? So, it says here... Why are we talking about from, adultery now? Because I'm talking about law, and I'm talking about punishment. Okay. I'm talking about sin, okay? okay. And what and where are you trying to get to? Well, I'm trying to get you the Quran. Just, just give me a second. Let's take time. Yeah? I think you're just going around in circles. Okay. Right, so let me read it. Um, Surah 5, 33. The recompense let me read of it those... Arabic. Yeah, you read it afterwards. Of those who wage war against uh, Allah okay. and His messengers and to do mischief in the land is only that they, should, they shall be killed or crucified. That has nothing to do with adultery. I just exactly. said it has nothing to do with adultery, brother. Exactly. I just said that. I said to you, talk about wait a minute. Adultery is in the Bible that says, Baba. kill all the babies, Baba. kill kill all the animals, all the trees. Baba. I'm trying to make this a point. I'm trying to make a point. You're saying adultery and Baba. you're talking yeah. about are something you, else. Are you going to listen to what I'm saying? I'm not. I said to you. Because you're not true to what okay. you're saying. Okay. This is a guy who says he doesn't even know what the um, punishment is for adultery. No, he's a sure I can Wait, wait, wait. He told you. He told you. But you don't. No, I asked you, you're the Muslim, you should be telling me this. I'm saying, I'm, right, I'm right. not so, sure. So, and I'm being honest with so, you. So, hold on. So be hold honest on. with That's me. That's why I just said, I said to you, I'm not sure if it's... So why are you talking about adultery? Wait, sir. wait a minute. Don't shout. No, I can shout, shout. Yeah, yeah, shout. I'm shouting. Yeah, but okay? you don't need to shout. But I am going to shout. You're not listening? No. So I'm going to shout. It's not a civil conversation. So, the question I asked you was about adultery. Yeah. You did not know about adultery. He told so, you. Wait, wait. He told you. So, I said that I'll look into the Quran on something that I do know about. Yes. Because as far as I understand, 
the um, the, 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 the verse about adultery, yeah. I, we take it from the hadith, however, it may be in the Quran as well. But, 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 but what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do yeah. is I'm going to look into something that I do know about. So you're talking about something, something you don't know about. And I'm going to refer, I'm going to refer to the Quran and we're talking about the judicial No, no, brother, brother, so, chapter, tell him, adultery, yeah. chapter 24. In, to pull out chapter 24. The Quran, Surah 5, do not, do not 33. Of what it says here is this. So I have to shout because you want to let me speak. Alright. So 533 is nothing to do with adultery. I'm just simply giving you an example and asking you why is it. Alright, let me read it first. Um, get um, Surah 533. Let me just scroll down to it. By the way, this is not talking about you. It's out you. of context. No, no, it's not talking about you. You are. You the recompense of those who wage war against Allah and his messenger and do mischief in the land is only that they shall be killed or crucified or their hands and their feet be cut off on the opposite sides or be exiled from the land that is their disgrace in this world and a great torment is theirs in the hereafter so according to this the point I'm making to my friend here is that if you have Allah's law, okay, and then you have a crime that is committed, if Allah is truly just and someone comes against Allah and his messenger, the, his law requires that that person is killed or no, crucified. No, 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 come. You hurry, Buna. It's not come. And be cut off. I of know, his I know the verse is saying. And that is a disgrace. No, no. So, hurry, Buna. He's someone who is where you are. Why is it Allah? can simply tell you, you know what, if you ask for forgiveness, you can simply be let off. Sorry. That's the question I'm asking my friend. That's in the afterlife. What, do you know what you've done? It's in the afterlife. Taken, do you it's know in the what afterlife. you've done? I'm just letting you know, it's in the afterlife. It's in the afterlife. It's in the afterlife. It's in the afterlife. Do you understand? Nah, I can't, 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 I'm not sure that you can hear it. No, no, no. Because you were shouting. I'm shouting because do you speak? But he's heckling. Hear me. He's heckling. Yeah, you were doing. He's heckling because. Did you hear? Guys, you're heckling. You're heckling, guys. With the verse. Did you hear what I said? In the after. No, he's not. Did you understand? He's interrupting you. Did you understand that? No, 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 no. Did you understand what I said? In the and afterlife, you get judged. In the afterlife, in between, he's, 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 he's talking about he's not, he's he's not to no, he's not him to speak. I'm not sure point, if he can hear it or not. He doesn't believe he can. I'm not sure if he can hear it. He doesn't believe this is a position to ask him a question. No, no, no. But then the wise is talking to speak. I said it from before. Okay, so I want to know. There's no opinion. It's in the Quran. You're not that slick. He quotes from the Quran. Don't respond. Because you're not. You're not. Are you taking that into account? Are you taking that into account? Are you taking that into account? You're not taking that into account. You're not taking that into account. So are you taking that into account? Into account. So that's why I'm, I'm taking it. Right. That's why I'm taking it. So what you said, that the heckling is done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the heckling is done. Yeah, yeah. You mentioned something. We're trying to get out of context. Give us the context. There's a context behind that. Give it to us. The so yeah, yeah, exactly. So what God Bro. said, oh, oh, just like this, to get out of your land, it means the context of war. The context of war. Right? If I'm in war with you, I'm not going to give you flowers and hand you gifts and all of that, right? No, I'm going to wage war against you. And then this is the Al Mushrik. Wait, let him speak. Oh, which is you. Be patient. He was a mouth. He is okay to, to, to respond for himself. Right. Let him finish. Stop, stop cutting him off. What you've said. Stop. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I have to address this. Stop cutting off your Muslim brother. He's capable of, of articulating himself exactly. enough to understand. Yeah, to so speak. let him finish. I thought the Christians that get him, but you're heckling him. Let him finish. Right. Let him finish. No, no the heck, point no. is simple. Stop. He's still heckling. What's wrong with you? <laughs> the point is simple, man. Are you hearing no, it? No, but he's not letting you talk. 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 Don't talk then, and then he will shut Stop up. Stop talking. No. Are you deaf? So you what I said? The Muslims are not interested in that. You're going to have to shout over your Muslim brother. I won't do that. Just because it's fine. What you, heard, what you did is you took something out of context completely. You have not mentioned what the setting is. Just mention the ayah uh, out of the surah where there's a massive context. And the context is the context of all. Just like they did that to you, you're going to do that to them. You're going to respond, right? You're not being the transgressor, you're, you're defending yourself, right? And why 
would you decide to go into that verse because it so fulfills your agenda and start ripping it apart? We don't do that to your Bible, right? How about, how about when we talk about, you know, you get, oh, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. You, how about we start talking about the Bible, it talks about killing babies, chopping off trees, killing animals, women, old women, wherever you see them, chop them up. How about that, right? You might say there's a context to it, just like what you did to the Quran. Do you find it hard what? to comprehend what I'm saying to you? Because if you don't, then I'll break it down. All right, you okay. misunderstand everything I'm saying to you. No, I'm not misunderstanding. Yes, you I'm are. Let me, let me correct you. Why you say, why you say, if God can punish me, why you say? No, no, he's not what I'm saying. What are you saying? He just, he just came. You're confusing it. The topic is different. He just came. Let me explain to you. No, no, the topic was different. Let me explain to you again why you said. You just came, I think, five minutes ago, innit? You don't understand what I'm saying. I get it. I get it. No, you don't. No, you don't. I'm going to explain to you again. No, you don't understand what I'm saying. What I don't want you to do is talk about an ayah in the Quran. Okay. And rip it apart and take it out. No, I haven't done that. You don't understand what I'm saying. But actually, that's what he has done. We've got these hackers. All around us, God and we will not allow him, him to like speak for himself. You like it? Yeah. Let him speak for himself. Okay. So, can speak for himself. You misunderstand what I'm saying. Because, uh, okay. Okay. because this is what I'm saying. I'm simply giving you a crime. We were talking about the blood. We were talking about sacrificial um, death. And we're speaking no, about, no, about no. winning. Um, yes. Hold on. Hold on. Are you here to win? You don't understand what I'm saying. Are you here to win? And we're speaking about justice. So you have said to you, I've said to you, you have a law, I think you are here to talk you have a crime, how does Allah assess us? Because your mentality is about fighting, you have to be winning, it gives you, you're related to winning, you're related to winning, and then whatever that crime is, can you read the verse that's after it, read the verse that's after it, it gives you the answer, it gives you the answer. It's like you're not even trying to listen, it's not even trying to listen. I'm listening, you simply have, you've understood what I'm saying, and you're saying, you're thinking I'm a child and saying, wait, hold on, hold on. So I'm saying to you, we're speaking about justice. If somebody carries out, I'll just give you an example of a crime. If he carries out a crime, is Allah just in giving him um, what he deserves for that punishment? That's what I'm asking you. I'm not, I'm not talking about the actual um, specific what they did. I'm simply give him an answer. Give him an if, uh, if you carry a, carry a crime, is Allah in a position or should he not give you what you deserve for that crime? You know, yes or no? Can you read the next verse and he will give you the answer? This guy doesn't understand. Read the next verse. This guy doesn't understand. You cannot read the next verse. Read the next verse. Okay. Okay. See, see the problem is, yeah. Yeah. Can you give me the answer? Yes. 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 Right. Thank you. I'm moving that you answer the question. Right, right, right. Don't just say yes and just think cut me off. wrong. No, no, no. I'm making a point because you don't understand. The point I'm making to my oh, friend, Muslim, and I appreciate that a Muslim finally answered, Muslim believe is God that every so law, bad, whether um, the law of the land, whether it's God's law, if you commit a crime, okay, you deserve a punishment. That's called justice. Hold on, hold on, let me finish on this. So what I'm saying to you is that whatever crime it is, it could be, you know, um, it could be lying or hatred or murder or whatever it is. Yeah? But a good judge who's worth his soul will give you what he deserves. And it's the same with God. 